What's up guys, Spark here, and we're back with Magic the Gathering 2013, Duels of the Planeswalkers. So, we're going to go ahead and start the intro video, hopefully. I apologize if it's really loud. I have the settings on the lowest possible thing they could be on. My foes are legion. These five are potentially problematic. A noble predator, he believes himself to be. This Garum wild speaker, brutal savage, merely a merciless killer. His impatience is my virtue. Jace Beleren's greatest strength is his greatest flaw. A supremely powerful mind, incapable of perceiving how he could rule all. A keystone in an unfathomable plan. So utterly filled with power, so wholly lacking in restraint and vision, seeking freedom, will Chandra Nalar rise above personal retribution, or will her fury consume all? A dark power commanding the dead, Liliana Vess inspires terror. In debt to demons, entranced in a pursuit of unattainable desires. As ruthless as myself. Reinforcer of life, light, and strength in allies. A contemptible blight. Should we cross again, I'll snuff a Johnny Goldmane spark, consigning him to an endless night. They're but obstacles, part of a grand design. Fight them endlessly, they'll likely prevail every time. However, should you prove to be a duelist of measure, having defeated these opponents with skill, consider your fate. For if you dare face me, destroying you shall be my pleasure. Very sweet, very sweet. Definitely a better opening than the last one. Glad to see that they took it a little bit stronger. Um, so one thing I do want to change real quick, I've already gone through the options and changed everything to where I want. Again, we're playing on Planeswalker. I've disabled the tips. Uh, volume super low. If it's still way too loud, I'll have to fix it in the next videos. Um, that I want to do. So that way it doesn't change my screen resolution every time I play the game. Alright, so game crashed when I did that, but that's okay. We're on the correct resolution now. Um, I also have combat animations off because I really don't care about them. Uh, simplified targeting allows me to target myself and my creatures with burn spells or anything like that. So, you know, every once in a while you'll find a circumstance where you need to do that. So I don't want that on. Uh, I have it holding priority so that at the end of each of my main phases it asks me if I want to continue um, it doesn't auto assign damage but I do let it auto resolve spells just simply because wow it's so loud so music's going to be completely off until I can figure out what I want to do with that um, let's take a look at what we've got here this one is unlocked uh, via pre-order so I don't want to start off playing with that. Um, now I have played the first game on my iPad. Um, the first game, I mean, I'll go over it. It would have been the same choice either way. But after seeing some of the cards, it's a definitely a better choice to uh, to go the way that we did. Um, but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Hopefully he plays the card. It's very, very annoying. Um, I'm glad to see that they definitely weren't like, oh, hey, we're going to go with... Uh... The uh... Koth that they did last time. No, I don't want to play the tutorial. Um, no, he's a blue deck. Talrand, if you haven't seen him from the, pre or from the spoilers. Uh, he's a legendary creature. And whenever you play an instant or sorcery, you put out a 2-2 flying drake. I mean, he's he's awesome. He's really strong. Um, but I went originally with uh, Pack Instinct. Um, 
Chandra would probably be, be probably be the better deck to play. But Pack Instinct is one that I originally tested it with. Uh, it's probably more my play style than Chandra, but I'm hoping to unlock the rest of these. I thought they'd say Goblin Gangbang. Alright. But before I misread anything else, we're going to go ahead and start the game. Nice and easy. Um, I play first. We're in the right hand. Much better, much stronger. Fog. Uh, Nature Slore. Yeah, we'll keep this one. It sounds really loud still, so I'm hoping that this isn't overpowering to my voice, but we'll see. We also need music. I can't do this without music. Wait just a little tiny bit. Alright, that sounds a lot better. A lot better. Nothing wrong with starting games with three twos out in the field. But I have not played Duels of the Planeswalkers since my last video went up. So, on Duels of the Planeswalkers. This is the card that I was going to say you want to play red against this for because you have burn spells. It says defending flyer or defender flyer prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to and dealt by fog bank. So he now has a way to permanently block my creature out here, which sucks very much so. Uh, Garrick does have a, a card that allows creatures to fight. Fighting is not combat damage, apparently, or at least as far as the game goes. Um. So, I don't know. We'll see. No point in attacking. I mean, he's going to block. Neither one's going to trade because they don't do any damage to each other. So I just need to get more creatures out quicker. Nature's Lord put it into the battlefield? Wow. I'm hoping the new duels are nasty. If you don't know what I'm talking about, they're uh, two colored lands. That are both a forest and an island, or a forest and a swamp, like Bayou or uh, the newer ones like Temple Garden. Supposedly, they're supposed to be releasing new ones, so we'll kind of see what happens there. Three mana for a three-one flyer. Wow, that's really solid. I didn't see that one before, but it's fine. We'll get in for some damage, at least. He's got a lot of bounce. I know he's got cancel in the deck. Uh, sleight of hand, look at the top two cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the other on the bottom of your library. Very solid card. It's not disadvantage whatsoever. You know, you keep the same amount. Um, it's nature's lore again. Thin the deck a little bit. Try and keep that as little as possible. Yep, disperse. They're really bad. Like, I'm on Planeswalker, and he's really bad. Like, I don't understand that. Like, why wouldn't you wait for me to attack and then do that while I'm attacking? But, I digress. Hopefully the next sets of opponents are a little bit harder. Um... I don't know. We'll see, though. I'm taking a lot to the face, so. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. I love fog. Of course, we were drawing a ton of lands, which kind of sucks, but... Okay, get in for some damage. Hopefully Fog can go off next turn and we can get in some more damage. 
mean, it won't kill him, but... Fog bank. Nope. Doesn't matter now. <laughs> uh, chain creature deals damage to an opponent. You may draw a card. Well, it's a good thing you're not going to do any damage this turn. But I'm not doing any next turn, so it doesn't matter. I guess I could have been attacking with him. I mean, he at least tramples. And I'm also not paying attention. You know, the usuals. We're back. You... Can fight you. Oh, yeah, they cancel, so it didn't matter anyway for the fog. But that at least makes it a little bit of an easier choice for us later. Um... Unfortunately, he does. He, oh, he may not have had to cancel, actually. He could have drawn that. But that's the card that uh, Prey Upon. It's target creature you control. Fights target creature you don't control. But I'm, I'm going to try and show the new cards. This is very nice that it kind of comes up and says, this is what's being cast right now. So it's put two, two, two drakes on the battlefield again. Awesome. I have to fog this turn, or we lose. So let's stop the timer. Fog. I think space stopped the timer before, so we might have to try that. Yep, space stops the timer. Oh, cool. Hexproof. That helps us a lot. So, we lost this game. Um, I did beat him on my iPad, but I also got two of the fight cards and he didn't counter them. So, we'll concede this duel, and I'm going to go and switch over to Chandra's deck against him. Because, again, like I said, this is probably the deck you want to play him with, because there's probably burns in there. And you can actually deal with the prevent all combat damage to be dealt to this creature cards. Yeah, exactly, you know. First card, we have Searing Spear. So, which is almost incinerate. Um, the mana curve is a little weird, but I'll keep the hand. Um, since he goes first. Uh, this is new. One damage to each creature that player controls. That's awesome. Um, these, I'm actually debating on right now. Um, they're very solid. Uh, I very much like them in the heavier mana cost decks. Like, obviously, this one's a little bit higher of a mana cost deck. And I like how they show you the statistics now. They say this deck is big, scary creatures. So, um, he does 10 mana open. I'm going to get rid of that now. So that we don't have to worry about it later. It just seems like the good call. <laughs> so that he doesn't just not play anything and cancel next turn. But his deck's obviously very good against Garrick's. Because unless a big scary creature has trample, you can just kind of ignore it. With the uh, walls. These uh, fog banks. And a bit of a pain in the ass. But these medallions are a lot better than the life gain cards because they actually, you know, red spells cost one less to play in a deck where the mana cost, you know, hits six occasionally. And it lets you cast more spells. It's very, I like it very much in this kind of deck because, you know, you're playing burn spells. I mean, that turns this into a lightning bolt. It lets you play more spells more quickly, but it's not like it's a traditional burn. It's like a mid rangey burn. So. Um, but see, like, it lets me play two cards this turn, which is awesome. It saves me two mana. I mean, that... It's a lot. It's very good. I like I like it in a mid-rangey deck. It lets you be a little bit faster than you normally could. I mean, next turn we're just going to hit him for a shit ton. Um, 
I don't think we've ever actually looked at hostility. Uh, if a spell you control would deal damage to an opponent, prevent that damage, and put three one, three, uh, put a three one red elemental creature token with haste on the battlefield for each damage prevented this way. So we're gonna Chandra's Fury him next turn, and if he dies, we put him into our, uh, he gets shuffled into the library. So we're gonna get in for a ton of damage this turn. Kill him right out next turn. So even still, we're still doing a ton of damage to him this turn. And we'll just outright kill him next turn. Uh, I like cards like this for the destroy artifacts in the deck. If you do want to play destroy artifact in a red deck. Uh, I'm very glad that Torch Fiend was the choice instead of a spell. Because the spell is just always situational. It's, do they have, are they playing in artifacts? Am I playing against, like, Tezzeret last time? Instead, it's, uh, I know I didn't show you what that card does. I'll show you in a second. Um, but it's, it gives you an option to not, to do something else with it. But, uh, Archeomancer, uh, enters the battlefield, return target insert sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand, one, two for four mana. So, not bad, not good. Um, that's Chandra's Furium. Target Talrand, obviously. Yeah, it's to an opponent. I was going to say, we could target us for just shits and giggles, but... Um, still play Dragon Hatchling. And we attack. So, you know, Hostility just turned 4 damage into 12. I like that. You gotta do a lot more than that, my friend. Wow. wow. I am on Planeswalker, right? Two achievements unlocked. But this is nice. They show you the card that you unlock. The deck that you unlock. Uh, the achievements. And you can go straight to campaign ladder uh, player status screen so if we do that we're going to go back into the and this is a nice little advertisement for those of you who like Talrand you can buy the deck but, um, your mana color is green you know. <laughs> but it's a nice little statistics thing I really like this um but we need to pick a new, uh, that kind of looks like, uh, what's his face from Mass Effect. We need a sweet picture. Oh. I like that one. We'll keep that one. It's interesting. So. Um, again, I'm not, I don't know, oh, these are, these are the, uh, challenges here, and then Garrick. So we could just skip to Garrick, we don't want to do the challenges, or we can do the challenges, but I'm going to do the challenges, so we'll be back in a minute. 